Hey nature freaks. What's going on? Dave and Jeremy here again. Today we're going to be searching for several of the protected rattlesnake species here in the mountains. Yeah, I mean look at this landscape. It just keeps getting better. It's super green. There's grass. There's beautiful pine trees. Uh, there's hardly any cacti around. And so we are going to be getting in to these forests and finding some incredible rattlesnakes that you cannot find at the lower elevations. All right, speaking of elevation, let's hit the mountains and let's go find some rattlesnakes. Nature in your face! I got to move on. Got mountains to move. I got mountains. Mountains to move. I got mountains. Mountains to move. I got mountains. Now, this is what the habitat of the montane species looks like. Jeremy is off somewhere. I don't know where, but we spread out hoping to find the banded rock with a ridge nose rattlesnake, two of the protected species here. So they could be at the base of these rocks and crevices, by the logs, by the base of a tree. There's no rhyme or reason where these rattlesnakes hide. So you just keep at it until you find one. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you gotta come back. So this is good weather, good habitat. So we should have success guys we just found a banded rock rattlesnake that's right i'm in oh my wow. gosh now i'm gonna zoom out and show you where he is he is sitting right at the base of this little crevice but there's this giant boulder here this jeremy is... saw this one get that light on him what do you think buddy yeah <laughs> I mean, that's why they called the rock rattlesnake because it looks just like the rocks wow unbelievable so we uh if you guys like to know something silly we give all the uh, snakes we're looking for nicknames <laughs> and this one was the thing and the latin species of this is clobber eye it has subspecies but it doesn't matter and so we were saying it's clobber in time <laughs> and if you're a fan of the fantastic four you can put it together it's clobber in time the things catchphrase here's the thing <laughs> that was super dorky but that's okay yep Unlike the Diamondbacks, you can see he's got the bands on his back. He is slate gray, just like the rock that he's sitting on. I've never seen one of these before. This is our first time finding first one of these. First time. First species. This is incredible. This was, I mean, we targeted it. We researched it. We came here. Booyah. And here it is. It worked out the way we thought it would, which yep. is crazy. Yep. I'm going to try to get in on that head right there. Look at that beautiful snake. Man, look at the speckling on there. Like... Yeah, the scalation is so is tiny on the snake. Amazing. I would say that snake is only a foot and a half long. Not even. I would say, I don't know, maybe 10, 11 inches, wouldn't you say? Yeah. It's a I mean, little yeah, guy. Maybe a foot max. They're, yeah, they're he small. is coiled, so it's hard to tell, but he's tiny. He's oh not much guys, thick, thicker is... than your pinky finger. Actually, he's smaller. That neck. Oh hey, my can God. you see the rattle, Dave? Did you get the rattle? I mean, no, if you guys have ever seen a pygmy rattlesnake... This is the tiniest rattle ever. It's I further back. See, I, I, I see there it, it is. It's, it's oh, a little blurry. A little plant. And we'll get closer to him. All right, guys, check out this tiny little rattlesnake. Man, it's it's beautiful. It's uh, it crawled up on this rock here, and now we're able to get some uh, amazing uh, footage and show the, the camouflage. You know, you can really see the scalation of the head in contrast to the stone in the background of the boulder. Even I mean, the tiny scales match it perfectly, like you were saying earlier. And the eye, the eye almost disappears in the body, and, and there's like a pink hue to the belly. Um, it's really pretty. Hopefully the camera's picking up as it is in person, because it's a beautiful snake. One thing that is really cool um, about the banded rock rattlesnake is they have a super special diet. When you think of rattlesnakes, you think of rodents, birds, lizards. Well, they do eat lizards, but they mainly eat the desert centipede, the giant centipedes. I mean, th that's insane. This thing has venom. It's a rattlesnake. It mostly eats centipedes, um, ones that they've studied in the museum and they've um, cut open and they've checked the stomach. Centipedes all the time. I just find that incredible. Centipedes and lizards. 
and we did see a giant centipede we didn't we weren't able to photograph it, it was just one under a rock but it was as long as the snake so you know when you picture a centipede you picture this tiny insect uh-uh those things are massive so i can see these things filling their bellies with just centipedes mm -hmm. it's crazy this is perfect habitat for the banded rocks i mean they literally will blend right in to these rocks these snakes have amazing camouflage. And if they don't rattle, you can walk right by them. It's pretty incredible. Woo! Man, we were excited about finding one montane rattlesnake species of banded rock. Now we have two. This one is a beast. Dave, what do you think, bro? Look at the size of this banded rock rattlesnake. It is a true monster. Everything about this snake is awesome. Look at the segments on the tail. Usually they break off after about seven or eight buttons. This thing has to have double that. And the color, it's like a bluish gray. I mean, I would love for somebody to show me a banded rock rattlesnake bigger and more beautiful than one we're looking at right here. I mean, this thing is incredible. Yeah, this is a beautiful snake. I mean, I can't believe we found this. Stoked! Got our fourth banded rock. Second biggest one on the trip. Got a little bit of mint green in them. Highly variable species of snake. I don't think anyone, they're like fingerprints. None, none of the ones we have found were similar in terms of pattern and color. All right, so we are in search of the ridge nose rattlesnake now. We're in the habitat. We're uh, still in the mountainous terrain. You can see it's completely different habitat, forested, heavily forested. And what these snakes do is they just sit at the base of these trees and they hide in the shade in the grass. And their camouflage is gonna be perfect because most of them are like a brownish tan with white stripes banding on the face and the body. Now from what we've been told, as soon as you get close, they're gonna rattle. So, that should help us find them. It gives off a warning to other animals, but to us, you know, it just draws to them. So, hopefully we get one, and then we'll get you up and close to it. All right, so the mountains are producing on this trip. Uh, we are blowing it up. I mean, just uh, finding super rare montane species. Check it out. We got the ridge nose rattlesnake right here. Yeah, we, this is one of the uh, three, one of the three protected species. We already got the banded rock. This ridge nose is beautiful. It gets the name because of the upturned scale on the snout. These guys eat mammals and birds. They don't get much bigger than this. You really can't see how big it is, but if I were to put my hand in it, it would fit in the palm of my hand. Yeah, and at this size, uh, they're probably still lizard eaters. Um, as babies, they will eat the giant centipedes, just like the banded rock. Uh, so centipedes and lizards make up a lot of their diet. And then as they get a little bit bigger, they're very small rattlesnake species. Uh, they can work their way up to mammals. Look at the face. It looks like somebody just took some white paint and put those racing stripes on that head. Yeah, yeah, a lot so of people refer to it as war paint. Yeah, it does. It almost looks like a tribe, a tribal thing, doesn't it? That's awesome. And we're super close to um, the border of Mexico, and there's actually a uh, an, um, another version of this snake that gets like a gray color, so not quite as pretty as this one, but uh, I mean, we're killing it. It's awesome. Yeah, we also got a couple, there he goes. Oh, Let's get him moving. Right toward me. There you go. These guys have a rather weak venom, so if you were to get bit, it wouldn't be fun. Right, but you know did, what? We did meet a guy who, though, who did get bit by one of these and was in the ICU for, I yeah. think he said, about a week. So yeah, they'll mess you up, but yeah, you don't want to get bit by any venomous animal. All right, well, it's been an epic day. I mean, incredible species have been found out here in the mountains. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments below 
what you thought of these amazing rattlesnakes. It's time for us to head out of the mountains, and we will see you on the next one.